Hurricane Sam is continuing to rapidly intensify at this hour. It is now a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 140 miles per hour. So this thing has really strengthened in the last six hours. As At 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, it was at 120 miles per hour. Now it's, uh, now it's maximum sustained winds have substantially increased to 140 miles per hour. It is now a Category 4 hurricane on the Sapphire Simpson scale. Additional strengthening is expected through tonight. Some fluctuations in the hurricane's intensity are possible early next week. Sam is a, remains a small hurricane, but those hurricane force winds are now out 30 miles from the center. So this hurricane is expanding in size uh, somewhat. So it's, it was at 25 miles uh, last time. Now it's 30 miles this time. Tropical storm force winds are the same, 105 miles. The pressure has plummeted to 943 millibars. It was 966 hours ago, so this this hurricane is in, is basically intensifying at a rate of three millibars per hour. It's losing its the pressure's dropping three millibars per hour. Like I told you in one of the other videos, one millibar per hour is rapid intensification, but two millibars per hour is explosive intensification. Anything other anything greater than that is just Anything greater than two millibars is still explosive intensification, but this thing is like this thing's really exploding in intensity at this point. It, this again, this may be a one-time thing. This may just be a one-time thing where they just intensified by 20 miles per hour uh, in six hours, which is pretty incredible to say at the very least. This hurricane is now, like I said, expected to get up to 150 miles per hour. At its peak, which should it should hit tonight, but I but at this point, they, if at this point, category five is not off the table anymore. Like category five is now a little more likely now. Um, now I'm not keep in mind I'm not saying there's this is going to be a category five hurricane. I want to make that very clear. What I'm saying is the likelihood of this becoming a cat five before it stops its intense it, rapid intensification, uh, uh, the chances of that have increased quite a bit. So let's go to the okay. So let's go to the intensity. Then we'll go. Uh, we'll, then we'll, we'll first compare the intensities uh, real quickly. So hold on a second. Okay. This was in intensity six hours ago. This was what the intensity was. It was 120 miles per hour. All the options here were on the table. It was expected to become maybe a 140, maybe 150 mile per hour hurricane. Now it's. That at, when Tropical Tidbits updated this around, I think around uh, two o'clock in the af uh, afternoon uh, Central t uh, Eastern Time, um, it was at they estimated at 130 miles per hour, but now it's 140, and they had it going up to 150 and everything. So these models are slightly out of date. I just want you to keep that in mind. These are slightly out of date, but one of the models once again has it going up to Cat Five, and it's. Basically, Category 5, it's always been on the table for this thing. And it, now it's somewhat more likely that it's going to actually get up to that strength. Now, keep in mind, this is a small hurricane, and the Leeward Islands are not going to get Category 5 wins if it gets to that strength. But they are. But stronger this hurricane gets, the greater the impacts can be. Like, the, the worse, the higher the surf can be, essentially. Now we'll go to the tracks. This was... This was just... So this was... All right, so this is the most recent one. We'll go back to the one from six hours ago. The models are pretty much were pretty much split six hours ago, as you can see right here. Then that's the intensity. Here it is. This is where it is now. The storm it hasn't really deviated very much more towards the west, so it's not going to hit land. I mean, it could hit Bermuda with some tropical storm impacts, like it did with Hurricane Larry. But at this point, I'm keeping a close eye on it. It's uh, it's not going to hit the Leeward Islands. I can confidently say that it's not going to make landfall in the Leeward Islands, and no model supports that. But am I saying they're going to not going to get impacts? No, they could see some uh, some surf with this impact. They could see a lot of rip currents. If you're watching this from the Leeward Islands, be careful of that. And if this hurricane does undergo an eyewall replacement cycle, and it uh, which will expand the wind field and the size of the hurricane, you could get a few. You could get a little bit of rain out of this. So I've completely disregarded the speed of it. It's moving west northwest near 10 miles per hour. So not really much of a change in that. 
but its latitude is now 13.3 degrees north, longitude 48.5 degrees west. So that's uh, that's it. So we're gonna go to the co we're gonna go to the cone. We do have the post tropical cyclone Teresa right here, but that's not the main story for tonight. This is where it is as of 5 p.m. It's expected to continue that turn more towards the northwest, because still become a major hurricane all the way. It's it's expected to become a 150 mile per hour Cat 4 by tonight. So that's where the NHC has its at peak strength. So. That's pretty much, and then after that, it's going to start weakening a little bit, according to the NHC. I'm not sure if it's because of the conducive environment becomes less conducive, or if it's actually going to undergo an eyeball replacement cycle. That's to be seen. So, we're back here at the uh, at the satellite. I'm going to show you the evolution of this thing, the last 100 frames of this thing. This. 100 frames. This goes out about 16 out, uh, 16 and a half hours. So this is where it was about seven, a little under 17 hours ago. It was a really small yet really compact hurricane. This was, I believe, a cat, uh, a cat two at the time. No, it wasn't a cat two. It was a cat. Uh, it was a category one hurricane at the time. Now there you go. You see those. Uh, you see that. You see the minus 70s starting to form a ring. It starts intensifying, keeps uh, it's a little consistent. Then, yeah, it's consistent. Now that ring is formed, and now it goes even further and consolidates. Yeah, this this is where it's consolidating right here. And it, the wind, the minus seventy ring has broken a little bit, but that just shows you how quickly this thing intensified. I'm showing you this again. The eye is nearly circular at this time, so that's also. Uh, some big news right there. So j that's not a good si uh, good sign when it comes to these th uh, things. That means this hurricane is get is str is strengthening is strong. It is getting stronger, and the eye really just showed itself again. So that's pretty. That's a pretty impressive satellite image right here. From basically, yeah. This is now, this is really intensified. Like 24 hours ago, this was at an 85 mile per hour cat one. Now it's a category four hurricane. So, yeah, this intensified 55 miles per hour in 24 hours. The pressure dropped. Hold on, I'm going to go back to the advisory. The pressure dropped. It's 943. It pressure was 986, so it dropped 43 millibars in 24 hours. That's a big drop, and that pressure gradient uh, force is what's really driving those winds up. Like the pressure gradient force is so great, that's why it's a Cat Four hurricane. So anyway, let's go to the few key takeaways that I want before this video ends. First key takeaway: I've already mentioned this. It's still a major hurricane. It's ex intensified to a 140 mile per hour Cat Four hurricane. It remains very small. It's, the hurricane force winds have expanded slightly to 100. Sorry, to 30 miles, not 105 miles. That's tropical storm force winds. If this, if this, if the hurricane force winds were 105 miles, that le uh, the lesser Antilles would be in trouble. But thankfully, it's only a small hurricane. Yeah, the pressure has plummet has plummeted. It was 966 hours ago. Now it's 943. The uh, real question is, how low can the pressure go? How how low? How high can those winds go? That's a really that's the big question that we have at this hour. Second. Uh, second key uh, right here tracks haven't really the track of this storm hasn't really deviated um, anymore so it's fairly certain that this thing's going to continue in northwest travel the leeward islands you're not going to get a landfall you're you might get some you're going to get some swells some rip currents and if this hurricane does undergo an erc and expand in size you might get uh, some rain but that's pretty much it next key takeaway is Basically, the model guidance. This is a little outdated. Uh, Tropical Tidbits had, had it at 130 miles per hour uh, when they updated this about 2 p.m. Eastern uh, time, and now it's 140. But Category 5 is not off the table. I want to make that very clear. Now, I'm, it's not an absolute certainty it's going to be a Category 5, but there, the possibility is there. The best, my best guess is that it's going to be, like the NHC said. I think, because of how quickly this thing intensified, I think 150 
to 160 is the is basically where it's going to intensify before it uh, starts its replacement cycle and weakening. Now, that's the range I am giving. That's the range I'm giving it. Because the NHC, some like I've told you before, the NHC, they really underestimate the intensity of these hurricanes. Like, they've gotten pretty bad over the last four years on how strong these hurricanes were going to get. First, it was Hurricane Harvey when it made landfall in Texas. The NHC originally had this at a 70-mile-per-hour tropical storm when it formed, and then it just started organizing and exploding in intensity. Then Hurricane, then it was Hurricane Irma. They had it at a Cat 4. Ended up becoming a Cat 5 with winds of 180. Then there was a bunch of other examples, such as Dorian, which is probably the biggest uh, one of all of them and why I don't exactly trust the NHC, because Dorian defied every expectation that the NHC and any other weather uh, w uh, any other weather agency uh, really just like put out there. It defied it ended up instead of hitting Hispaniola, which is the Dominican Republic, it ended up hitting the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico a little bit. And then it went to the Atlantic, intensified to a category five with one eighty five mile per hour winds and just devastated the Bahamas. So this thing really defied all expectations. And there were hurricanes in twenty twenty that defy that defied it as well. And but I'm taking too much time already uh, talking about those. Final key takeaway, this hurricane is a very strong hurricane. It is a very powerful hurricane. Very, like, it's a very, uh, it's a it's structure of the hurricane is very circular. It's not perfect, but the eye is nearly symmetrical. No, it's not nearly symmetrical. It's nearly circular. But, yeah, that's, this is a very impressive structure. This is no, this is not perfect, but it is impressive nevertheless. So, that's going to be it for Hurricane Sam, now a Cat 4 hurricane. I'll keep watching this as it develops, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates.